Hello everyone, I'm Vin Ebenu, and this is your Town Square Media Jersey Shore News Report. As of Friday morning, the amount of positive COVID-19 coronavirus cases in Ocean County stands at 468, according to the Ocean County Health Department. Lakewood has 198 cases, Toms River has 60, and Jackson has 52 cases. In Monmouth County, there are now 506 cases of the virus, according to the Monmouth County Health Department. After Governor Phil Murphy called out certain people in Lakewood for holding large gatherings and weddings, including on Thursday, that had to be broken up by police, the governor called out hateful comments directed at the town's Orthodox Jewish residents. Murphy said there is a special place in you know where for individuals who bully another community. Lakewood Police Chief Greg Meyer told the Lakewood Scoop that his town is 100% in compliance with the stay-at-home order. Rabbi Abe Friedman, a member of the Governor's Interfaith Advisory Council, said he agrees but says it's difficult for some Jewish residents who are used to gathering together for prayer three times a day. The Ocean County Health Department and OEM will open its coronavirus drive through testing site at Ocean County College beginning at 9 a.m. on Monday to Ocean County residents. You must be registered to be tested and you must have a doctor's prescription for the test. The site will operate daily as long as coronavirus tests continue to be available. Officials have enough set up to test about 180 people per day. Once the test has been performed, it's anticipated to take about three to five days for results to be returned. In the midst of a major shortage of PPE gear for first responders, Jersey Shore Congressman Chris Smith has secured 41.3 million medical-grade gloves for first responders on the front lines of this coronavirus pandemic. Congressman Smith was able to persuade U.S. Customs and Border Protection to release the massive shipment for distribution across the United States for nurses, doctors, and other first responders. Long Beach Township has terminated short-term rentals until further notice. Owners of the homes may come to their properties. Dogs are also banned from the beach. Deal has asked seasonal residents, commuters, family, and friends from the New York metropolitan area to not relocate or occupy seasonal properties. La Valette has also closed its beach and boardwalk. And Seager has asked seasonal residents and renters coming to town from New York and other hot spots to self-quarantine for 14 days upon arrival. Stay with us as we bring you the latest news and information regarding the coronavirus on our website and by downloading our free mobile app. I'm Vin Ebenu, and this is your Town Square Media Jersey Shore News Report.